Hey folks, Randy with Pizza RV TV here today. Another quick tick segment for you. Today I'm going to show you how to light an oven. Um, and it's something that comes very simple to me because I've been doing this forever. But um, if you don't know how to do it, there's a couple of steps in there. If you don't do them properly, you're not going to have a successful light. And I do take this phone call a lot. So um, when you light your stove in your RV, it's as simple as turning the gas on hitting the striker and she lights up. This is not the case with the oven. With the oven, we actually have a pilot in there. And now it's probably uh, on a newer RV, it's gonna be probably the only pilot that you have. Everything else is DSI ignition now. So um, to light the oven, um, we've got to light the pilot first, as I had mentioned. And so on the pilot knob, or the oven knob, we've got an off, we've got pilot on, and then we've got our temperatures here. So what we need to do is we need to light the pilot let it heat up the thermocouple and that'll in turn open the gas valve and allow us to plow, plow, pass fuel down through and uh, to the burner on the oven. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this on. Now notice when I've got it on pilot on, we're good there and right now we're not passing any fuel through until we have a, a successful light and then we can leave it on there if we want to use it in the future. But uh, what we got to do is we got to push this guy in much like you do on your gas grill at home. Now don't hold this button in for a long time before you get your lighter down there because as soon as you hold this in, we are passing fuel out that pilot assembly and we could potentially have a flare-up so what I like to do is get my lighter lit get it down in the proximity and then I go ahead and press that in and I can go ahead and put it under the pilot get a successful light now we want to hold this for probably five to ten seconds before we go ahead and turn it to the temperature that we desire reason being we want to heat up that thermocouple as I mentioned before and when that thermocouple is hot enough it will send a signal back to the gas valve allowing us to pass fuel through to the burner so with it like that I'm still holding it in now I'm gonna let it out I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to my desired temperature and we have a successful light so it's as easy as that now again I do recommend if you're not using this Ovens don't get used a lot in RVs. Most of the time we're cooking outside. Every once in a while you might need to heat something up. But if you're not using it, shut it off. Light the pilot when you need to use it. That way you're not using extra fuel that you don't need to use and you're not going to forget about it and uh, just put it in the backyard with the pilot still burning on your stove and run all your LP bottles down because it will happen. Um, so anyway, quick rundown. Put the pilot on on. Light your lighter. Hold the button in. Light that pilot. Five to ten seconds on the thermocouple, get it good and hot, and then we can go ahead and set our desired temperature. Simple as that. So, thanks again for watching Quick Tips with Randy from Pete's RV, and I look forward to seeing you out on the road, and happy camping.